Hey there, I hope you're doing copacetic. My name is Nates and let me talk to you about hyperlinks in Storyline. Yes, they can be used for more than just links. Let's check it out. So here's my text, my slide, and I'll create a link here. So hyperlink, the word has been selected and now you type a link, right? No, you can do more. So we're gonna click on the action because this is a trigger wizard. We can have many things we wanna do here. We have actions that can open, start, load things, whatever we want. So I wanna show you three examples of the way you could use hyperlinks in a course. So let's start with the first one. We're gonna show a layer, our pop-up, when user clicks lorem. So I have some slide layers here ready for you. So this is the first one. Now let's select Masa, hyperlink, and we're gonna say, again, show layer, word, when user clicks Masa, like that. Let's preview. Masa, it opens like an explanation, you know, like a dictionary style thing. And Lorem opens a new pop-up, like a, you know, pop-up window you would have in a, in a course. So that's two, quick and easy. Now the other two, actually the, the last one is quite simple. Maybe you have a text saying what happens in a story and then you could have two options that something happens or something else happens and you could link to other slides in your story. So again, hyperlink, jump to slide, we're gonna say path one and then the other one, hy hyperlink, jump to slide, path two, when user clicks. And you have two paths as are also visible here in the scene. So there we go, quick and easy way to use hyperlinks for more than just opening links. And hopefully this gives you more tools in your e-learning palette to develop awesome courses. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.